Hello guys, I'm back from another video on the team talk about what if Deku was in Ruby. So in the last video we talked about how after a while basically hanging out with some of his, you know, some of his teammates like Ruby, Yang, things of that sort, they would have been told to go to the, you know, to the principal's office. After arriving there, they would meet up with, you know, Ozpin. And after explaining why they're there, mostly because, you know, Izuku is going to be transferring to, you know, the used to be team, you know, Cardinal as their new, you know, leader. After saying that, it would cause all of the girls to basically protest, saying that this is a bad idea in many ways. Not because they absolutely love him as a yandere type of way. Anyway, continuing on, after, you know, doing so, you know, Osman would still not, you know, still not budge and would basically tell them that, you know, Izuku is going to be, you know, acting as the new team leader to team, you know, used to be Cardinal, and so all of them would basically, you know, decide to just, you know, accept it, and would tell Izuku if they were to, you know, do anything to them, like anything to him specifically, well, let's just say they're, you know, their lives are going to be forfeited, as in, you know, well, let's just say that, <laughs> anyway, continue on, after doing so, he would basically say goodbye to them. And after doing so, Osman would start to leave to basically, you know, get the new girls, as in, you know, his new teammates. After a while of waiting, he would look up and would see all three of the girls. One of them would introduce themselves to him, and this person was... These were Rachel Trust, a girl with similar, you know, greenish hair, but instead of being like, you know, you know, normal, instead she has a mohawk and a, you know, a spiked shoulder pad. Another by the name of Dove, you know, Dove Bronzewing, which, the reason why I decided to just leave that in, as, you know, her, you know, well, her, you know, regular name, well, the reason why is because Dove definitely sounds like a female name, or a feminine sounding name, to, in my opinion, so that is why I decided to keep her name as, you know, Dove Bronzewing, and finally, you know, Skyla Lark. The reason why I decided to go for, you know, Skyla, because it's pretty obvious. And besides, it's pretty easy. So anyway, after introducing themselves and, you know, some of them a little bit, you know, well, well, a little bit awkward to say the least, he would basically tell both of them that they can, you know, not both of them, I meant all three of them, that they should probably start, you know, you know, probably get along a little bit. After saying that, they would agree and would start leaving the office. After doing so... All three of them, or at least all four of them in this case, because Izuku's in, as after a while basically, you know, hanging out a little bit, they would decide to change their name, or at least their team name, to Team, you know, Colorless. The reason why I decided to go for Colorless is because at the time, I forgot to put out the C in Team Cardinal, because, you know, you know, Cardin is not in the team anymore. So I am decided to just keep it as, you know, yeah, well, Colorless, because it sounds... You know, pretty cool in my opinion, just because, you know, all the characters are basically based off, you know, colors. Like, Ruby, Ruby Rose, like, both those colors are basically red. You know, Blake almost sounds like black. Yang, Shaolong, I mean, it's sort of like, you know, basically sounds something of that sort. So that is why I decided to go for that. And oh yeah, Velvet, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty obvious, like, you know, a pretty obvious, like, you know, um, like, you know, straighten your face name. Like, seriously, it's named after a color, as in velvet. So, anyway, continuing on. After a while, basically hanging out and meeting up with Team, you know, um, Juniper, they, you know, he would basically explain what happened, and they're pretty much surprised, as, you know, Gene is still pretty much awkward around them. And also, you know, starting to become a little bit jealous, knowing that they're basically now hogging Izuku. And so, after a while, they would basically all, like, all of them would basically start to leave. Going back to where, you know, their new dorm room is, or at least Izuku's new dorm room. After getting his stuff, basically from, you know, from Team Ruby's room, or at least used to be Team Ruby's room. And so, after bringing his stuff and basically unpacking, he would say goodnight to everybody. And so, Izuku would fall to sleep. So, yeah, so... That is basically what happened last episode. And so, let us talk about what happens next, ladies and gents. So, as we currently see Izuka waking up pretty bright and early, he would decide to make breakfast for all of them. After all, 
I mean, they're basically now a team. So, after going into the kitchen, well, he would notice that there's no groceries. At all. Like, seriously, at all. As he would say to himself, I guess Cardin mostly bought the um, takeout, he would say to himself. As you would mostly see, you know, a few, like, drinks. Some of them empty. And, you know. And he would also notice, like, you know, a few, like, you know. Well, something else as well. A few, you know, rotting vegetables. Yeah, that definitely doesn't seem normal at all. As he would just sigh to himself, and he would decide to just go to the, you know, nearby, you know. Well, you know, go to a bullhead and we'll just make, you know make breakfast by, you know, getting some of the ingredients there. So, after basically leaving the dormitory, he would start leaving to go on a bullhead to, you know, um, go to the market, pretty early in the morning. So, after he came back, he would start, you know, making breakfast for all of them. While he was making breakfast, a few of, you know, a few of Izuku's new, you know, teammates would start waking up thanks to the help of the smell, as Skyla would say this. As Skyla Lark would just, you know, wake up, Skyla would say this. <sighs> what is that smell? It smells so good, she would say. As she would start, you know, getting out of her bed, and would start, you know, going to the kitchen. When she, you know, starts looking at, you know, the pretty light, you know, light, you know, light ridden room, she would basically, you know, close her eyes a little bit to basically adjust herself, and after her eyes adjusted to the light, she would see Izuku basically cooking breakfast, as you'd say, oh, hey, he would say, as she would say this, oh, morning, Izuku, she would say, as she would say, um, are you, as you'd say this, yeah, cooking, as he would start, you know, flipping a bit of, like, you know, some vegetables, you know, basically, like, you know, stir-frying them, as he would basically grab a few more eggs, as he would start, you know, grabbing some rice, at least he thinks so, or at least, you know, that's what she thinks. As she would start, you know, seeing him basically putting some of the rice and also some of the, you know, other ingredients that he, you know, gotten from the market. As after a while basically mixing them, he would say this. Ah, I think I'm almost done. As he would start looking at the side of him, or at least, you know, you know, right beside the other, like, you know, pan where he's making this weird precaution of his. As he would say this. Oh yeah, the bacon, he would say. As he would basically grab some of the bacon and would basically, you know, bring them onto a plate. Or a few plates. Specifically four. As after doing so, he would grab, you know, the finished up concoction that he made, or at least the stir fry that he made, as he would start putting them in bowls, or at least, you know, in a bowl. After doing so, he would put the bowl upside down and would take it off, revealing that it was fried rice. As he would place the, you know, some more over there in, like, you know, the other plates, as after doing so, he would say this. <sighs> done. As you would look towards, you know, Skyla, as you would say this. Come on, do you want to eat? As she would say this. Oh, um, sure, she would say. As she would basically sit down right next to Izuku, as you would say this. Well, again, he would say, as you would start chowing down on his meal. As for Skyla, Skyla was still a bit, you know, awkward, to say the least. I mean, they're sort of, you know, friends now, but she doesn't, you know... She doesn't know how to feel right now. I mean, after being treated by, you know, well, a, you know, a certain bitch, to say the least, as in, you know, Cardin, she doesn't really want to trust him. I mean, she does know that he's actually pretty kind and also pretty helpful. Well, she, well, she still doesn't, you know, know how to feel about it. As after, you know, basically chowing down, he would say this. Hey, um... Is my food not good for you or anything? As she would say this. Oh, um, no, it's just, um, well, I'm not, you know, she would just, you know, look at him. As she would say this. Oh, um, you're still pretty new to this, right? As she would say this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just not really, you know, well, adjusted yet to basically meeting you. As she would say this. Ah, uh, I see. Then, um, as you would look at her, as you would say this, then, um, as he would start, you know, looking between, you know, himself and also, you know, well, Skyla, as you would say this, well, then, you know, 
Um, I'm not really, you know, Cardin or anything of that sort, so just don't think of me as that, like, at all. I mean, wait for a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, continuing on with the episode, as, you know, she would say this. Yeah, I know that you're not a really, you know, not, you know, a bad person, but... Uh, as you would say this. Uh, trust me, I'm not really a bad person. And trust me, we'll be great friends and teammates, you would say. As she would say this. Um, sure, she would say. As after a while talking to each other, he would notice a few more footsteps we see coming out of, you know, the bedroom. As after the door opens, he would see, you know, um, well, he would see Rachel, you know, basically woken up, and also, you know, well, Dove. As Dove would say this. Oh, it smells good, she would say. As, you know, you know, well, Rachel would say this. Yeah, it's so good. Never, never smelled something like that before, she would say. As he would say this. Oh, morning, guys. I made breakfast, he would say. As one of them would say this. Wait, you can cook? Said, you know, you know, Rachel. As he would say this. Yeah. I, you know, I mostly show it to my, you know, old teammates. <laughs> he would say. As one of them would say this. Well, that's quite the talent, said, you know. Well, a pretty surprised dove. A anyway, um, can we eat? As you would say this, yeah, breakfast is ready. It might be a bit cold, so, um, you better eat up right now. As both of them would agree and would start chowing down. After eating breakfast, they would start leaving, doing their, you know, normal routine. I mean, normal routine. As, after arriving in class, most of the people there would just look at them. Mostly towards, you know, mostly towards, you know, Skyla, you know, Skyla you know, Dove, and also, you know, Rachel, with either hate or just resentment, as all three of them are a bit, you know, at this point, a bit awkward. Like, all of them are just like, oh god, all of them would just say to themselves. As we currently see, you know, Izuku just there, as he would start, you know, seeing all of them just glaring at, you know, his teammates, as he would just sigh and would just, you know, just tell all of them that they should probably get to their seats. After saying so, they would basically go to their seats as he would decide to, you know, sit back with, you know, the rest of Team Ruby. As Team Ruby would say this. Hey, um, Izuku, are you okay? Did any of the, did they try to hurt you or? As he would say this. Whoa, 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 calm down. Trust me, they didn't do anything, he would say. As one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, well, well, um, Blake, she would say. Yeah, I just want to make sure that, you know, that you didn't get hurt by them, she would say. As he would say this, trust me, they're not really, you know, that bad. Uh, anyway, um, let's just continue class, he would say. And so, everybody would just continue class, as it would just be, you know, pretty much normal. Well, most of it anyway. I mean, Ublek was pretty much fast as usual, as it would cause Izuku to basically go like, you know, Godspeed on this paper. Even causing the paper to basically burn up. <laughs> it would the paper would just be so like you know the it would, he would basically cause so much friction to the point that it basically caught on fire which you know let's just say he has to use a bit of water style to basically you know well take care of that but unfortunately all of his lectures are basically just well wet <laughs> so yeah unfortunately he has to fix that so yeah continue on with the episode as we currently see now at lunchtime, Izuku is basically with Team, you know, well, Team Colorless. As he's basically there with Team Colorless, basically just like talking to each other. As after a while talking, he would notice, you know, a few people still look at him. Or at least towards the rest of like Team Colorless. All of them are just like, you know, well, oh boy, let's just say not really, you know, well, not really happy towards them at all so wait for a second god dang it so while they're currently at you know the cafeteria basically still talking they would notice you know um team ruby basically arriving including team juniper as one of them specifically ruby would say this hey ziku and oh hello there she would say with you know a bit of a you know awkward tone 
as one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, Dub. Oh, um, hello, she would say. As one of them would say this. So, um, you must be her new, you must be his new teammate, said, you know, um, l you know, um, Ren. As he would say this. I meant he, I meant she. Yeah, the name's Dove. Dove Bronzewing, she would say. As one of them would say this, specifically, you know, Skyla. The name's Skyla Lark, she would say. As one of them would say this. The name's, um, Rachel. Rachel Russell, she would say. As, you know, Ruby would say this. The name's Ruby, Ruby Rose. And, you know, I'm really sorry for your old teammate. Not really, she would say. As one of them would say this. Yeah, point taken, she would say. Actually, we didn't really, you know, we actually did like Pharmacists, but because of him, well, we were forced to hate them, she would say. As one of them would say this. Specifically, you know, Blake. Wait, really? She would say. As, you know, she would say this. Yeah. Yeah, it was sort of our, you know, not our intention to actually join in because we actually hate Faunuses. It's because of peer pressure from Carden, she would say. As one of them would say this. I see. Then, um, as she would start looking towards Izuku. As Izuku would say this. Um, what is it, Ruby? As she would say this. Oh, um, well... Um, do you know, um, what happened to the cafeteria last time? As he would say this. Now that you mention it, I did remember something about the root being broken so we couldn't, like, you know, eat lunch last time. As she would say this. Yeah, it was sort of our fault, haha. <laughs> she would say what, you know, she would basically start, you know, touching the tip of her, like, her fingers together. As, you know, well, Jean would say this. Yeah, it was... You know, sort of our fault. We sort of like started a food fight, she would say. As, you know, Izuku could say this. Thankfully, I wasn't there, he would say. As, you know, Yang would say this. Oh, come on, just imagine. Just imagine you basically slamming everybody with like a turkey. As you just look at her as you say this. Actually, I don't even want to imagine that, he would say. As after saying that, one of them would say this. Oh, yeah. She would start looking towards Izuku, specifically Blake. As she would say this, oh yeah, and we also met, you know, a new friend of ours. As Izuku would say this, wait, really? Who? As he would start looking towards, you know, a few people, basically coming by their, you know, table. As this person was, well, you know, Song Wukong. Which, you know, is, you know, Song Wukong. But, you know, I finally found a perfect name for her. Star Wukong. I mean, it's a bit cheap, but still... <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, you know, Star, Sun, I mean, I don't know why, but I think it's a pretty good name, I guess. As she would say this, oh, hey, um, Izuku, she would say, as he would say this, oh, hey, Star, he would say, as she would say this. So, um, uh, hello there, and this is my other teammate, she would say, as you would look towards a girl, another girl. She seems to have bluish hair and seems to be wearing goggles. Not actually wearing goggles, like, in the proper way, but more like, you know, putting them on the top of her head. With a simple, like, you know, um, reddish shirt, and also some other, like, things. Like, for example, some belt buckles on her legs. As she would say this. Um, hello, she would say. As Izu could say this. Um, hi, he would say. Looking at her. As she would say this. Well, um, I was quite, you know, well, surprised seeing her, well... She would start looking at his mask, as he would say this. Oh yeah, well, I'm actually a part of the, you know, well, the Temple of Ohm, he would say. As she would say this. Really? Then, um, you can call me, uh, um, you can call me, um, Amphitrite, she would say. And the reason why I'm calling her Amphitrite instead of, like, Neptune, or at least a female-ish version of that name, is because... Amphitrite is, after all, another name for, you know, you know, well, Neptune's wife, as in, you know, you know, Poseidon's wife. So, it makes sense that I decided to go for that name. And also because it's, you know, I tried switching up a female version of the name Neptune, and yeah, oh boy, let's just say those names are horrible to pronounce, so I decided to just go for this. So, as you would say this. So, um, hello there, Amphitrite, she would say. Um, nice to meet you, then, she would say. 
and she would start to have a blushing face after seeing him basically not looking, like basically not wearing his mask. And she would start to blush even more, and after seeing this, some of the girls, you know, well, some of the girls at the table would start glaring at her. As currently, Lyren would say to himself, Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a disaster, he would say to himself instantly. As, you know, Isaac would say this, Huh? What's going on, he would say? As, anyway, you know, he would start looking, you know, towards, you know, a few more people, specifically nearby, as you would notice, you know, Coco and Velvet. As Velvet is basically talking to her, you know, other teammates for some odd reason. Apparently they're, you know, doing something, but he could, like, you know, leave the table because currently, you know, they're currently in the conversation, so yeah, he really wanted to talk to them. Mostly because there's no way that he's going to be talking to them. I mean, there's pretty much, you know, sort of a fight happening, sort of. And let's just say everybody's just like, you know, or at least all of the girls nearby are basically glaring at, you know, well, Amphitrite right now. Oh boy, let's just say good luck to her. So, let's go to a different perspective. So, we currently see, you know, somebody, you know, in Osborne's, you know, well, office. As Osborne would say this. Ah, uh, it's been a while. General Ironwood, he would say. As a woman would be shown. Yeah. I'm going to be gender bending a lot of people right there. <laughs> Oh boy! Anyway, continue on, wait for a second. We would see a girl with, you know, dark, you know, dark hair that fades into a silverish color with dark eyes. And she seems to be wearing a general, like, uniform. But instead of, like, pants, instead she's basically wearing a skirt. As her, like, her hands are basically gloved, as she would say this. Ah, it's been a while, Ospin, she would say. As, you know, Ospin would say this. So, why exactly are you here? I mean, I know that you're here for, you know, for the Vista Festival, but why do you have to bring in your entire fleet of soldiers, she would say? I meant he would say, as she would say this. Well, I'm here in case of, like, anything happening, like, for example, any grim attack, she would say, as he would say this. But still, you almost, you know, you almost caused, you know, all of Vale to thought that they were basically about to get, you know, Invaded or something, she would say. I meant he would say. Eh, she would say this. <sighs> it's just for the protection of my, you know, for Vale, after all, she would say. And besides, I prefer to show off, she would say. After all, Atlas is one of the more stronger academies, she would say. As Osman would just like, you know, just like groan a little bit, as he would say this. <sighs> anyway, so... Why are you, you know, why are you actually here, visiting me, he would say. As she would say this. Well, I recently got reports about this young boy of yours, she would say. As Osmond would narrow his eyes, as he would say this. <sighs> I guess so, you, I'm guessing you already found out. As she would say this. Yes, his abilities are quite magnificent, she would say. The ability to use many different types of eyes. Or at least eyes that are specially made for him. Like that eye with the weird looking marks on each ring on his hand. The other one that seems to be a weird looking pinwheel. And the other that seems to resemble a flower. It's quite interesting. And their abilities are also quite magnificent, she would say. As, you know, he would say this. Yeah, but still. He would just sigh even more as he would say this. Don't even try to, you know, try and steal him away. After all, he does like it here. As she would say this. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not here to, you know, capture him or anything of that sort. I'm just here to see how strong he is, she would say. As he would say this. <sighs> he would just sigh even more as he would say this. Just make sure to try not to, you know, cause any trouble. As she would say this. Oh, don't worry. I promise. I'm not the type of person to cause too much trouble, she would say. And besides, it's after all a much more professional type mission here. After all, I've recently gotten reports of a certain group of White Fang members basically, you know, terrorizing the place. And not only that, you know, one of your students got in contact with Roman Tortric. One of the, you know, one of the people that I was trying to at least, you know, capture and take care of, she would say. 
as he would say this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, seriously, he would say to himself, as he would just sigh even more as he would say this. Anyway, so, um, may I ask, what day are you going to be, you know, leaving? As you'd say this, I'm a she. Oh, don't worry. We'll be leaving soon, but for now, we're going to be staying here for a few days. Mostly for the Vista Festival and also because business, she would say. As you'd say this. Yeah, sure, he would say. As you'd say this. Well then, I should be leaving. And also, by the way, if your little student, the boy with the powerful eyes were to, you know, were to have no free time, then, you know, were to have some free time, tell him to come here. I want to see him in, you know, in the flesh, she would say, as Osmond would narrow his eyes a little bit, as he would just sigh, and would just say this. <sighs> sure, he would say, as she would say this. Wonderful. Now, ta-ta, she would say, as she would start leaving, as Osmond would just sigh, as he would say this. <sighs> Ironwood, he would just sigh even more. I just hope she doesn't cause any trouble, he would say. As he would start looking towards, you know, you know, towards, you know, his window, and would start looking down on all of, like, on all of the, you know, well, you know, and all of the, you know, campus of, you know, Beacon. As he would say this. I just hope he doesn't cause any trouble. I meant she. And after saying that, we currently see, you know, Izuku basically talking with, you know, his, you know, fan group. As currently, while he is basically talking, you know, he did start sensing something weird happened, as he would start, you know, having a chill down his spine. As after, you know, having that weird reaction to that, you know, feeling, one of them would say this, specifically, you know, you know, Ren. Hey, um, Izuku, what happened? As everybody would just look at him, as he would say this. Why do I have the feeling that somebody is about to, you know, do something to me pretty horribly, he would say. And it's not, and it's not the type of thing that you don't want to have, he would say. He would start, you know, shaking a little bit. As some of the girls would start glaring at each other. Except for, you know, Neptune, because she's currently, you know, cowering right now. Well, Sun is just like, you know, glaring at them, except for, you know, well, not Neptune, I meant Aphrodite. I meant, what is her name? God dang it! I meant Amphitrite, as, well, he basically had that feeling, he would basically stop as he would look towards the rest of his new teammates. As he would say this, hey guys, we should probably get back to class, after all. As he would start looking at the time, as he would say this, yeah, we should probably get going, he would say, as all of them would agree and would start leaving the cafeteria. So, after leaving, we currently see, you know, well, Velvet and Coco basically looking at them basically leaving, as Coco would say this. I really want to talk to them, she would say. Said, you know, a pretty, like, you know, wait for a second. A pretty much tired, you know, Velvet, as, you know, Coco would say this. Yeah, but unfortunately, we're gonna go on a mission soon. As she would look towards, you know, one of her, you know, teammates, as she would say this. Hey, um... As Coco would say this. Hey, um, Fox? Um, what time are we gonna go? As he would say this. Oh, uh, I think I remember hearing that we're planning to go later. As this man seems to have darkened skin, um, orangish, reddish hair, and completely white eyes. Similar to the Byakugan, but except, well, he's actually blind. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, as after saying that, you know, he would say this. I mean, she. I see. Then, um, we should probably get going. As, you know, he would say this. Yeah, we should. After all, it's in, you know, it's probably tomorrow, so. As he would say this. Yeah, let's go. Said a, you know, as Coco would say this. Yeah, let's go, ha Yatsuhashi. And so, all of them would basically start to leave. So, we currently see back to Izuku and, you know, the rest of, like, team, you know, Colorless. As when they arrived at, you know, their next class, which was, you know, well, battle class, or at least, you know, well, training class or whatever you want to call it at this point, they would start, you know, battling each other, which they learned a lot. He would find out that, you know, one of them specifically, you know, are seem to be, you know, well, 
Rachel's weapons seem to be, you know, knives that shoot out, you know, dust crystals. Or at least I think so. I can't really remember in the anime. I, not anime. I mean, it sort of is sort of like an anime. Not only that, after hearing that, you know, that there's an anime adaptation for, you know, Ruby, well, it confirmed it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, sorry about that. Anyway, continuing on. As you would also, you know, see some others, or at least his other teammates' weapons and skills. I can't remember if they actually had, you know, um, any weapons, not uh, weapons, I meant, you know, any semblance. I even checked the wiki, and it, I think they don't really have any semblances at all. And if I'm wrong, then, you know, you know, um, just tell me in the comments. So, anyway, after, you know, well, after, you know, battle training class, they would basically start to leave, going back to their dorms. As, after doing so, Izuku would make dinner for all of them, and they were pretty, you know, pretty much, you know, all happy. Mostly because of Izuku's cooking. As, after doing so, all of them would basically get ready to go to sleep. And so, all of them would basically fall asleep. But, we go to a different perspective. Currently, we see Roman Torchrick basically still pretty much traumatized, almost getting destroyed by that arrow that Izuku made with Susano. As, He's basically just like telling himself, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, he goes like that, like yeah, like he's just basically saying that to himself, what the fuck is that kid, and not only that, not only that, Neopolitan is, you know, Neo is planning to basically bury the guy, god dang, he would start thinking to himself, oh, I think I should at least try to be a little bit nicer to kid, but still, he probably hates me, he would say to himself even more, as, he would start looking towards Neo as Neo is basically still trying to text him. So currently Izuku is still still awake, basically texting her back. As he would say this, oh, I just hope I just hope their relationship goes pretty well. I just hope it doesn't conflict with me. He would say to himself. As after a while of thinking this, he would hear the sound of fighting. More specifically, the bickering between you know both. Well. Mercury, or, you know, well, Mercy, which I was planning to make her that name, but, you know, it's a bit ironic. Like, at all. So, I decided to just call her just Mercury. I mean, I can definitely call her Mercurius? I mean, maybe? But, you know, why, n why the frick not? So, why not? So, Mercury and also, you know, Emerald are basically, you know, basically still pretty much fighting, say, Ah, oh, you absolute idiot. You almost caused us a bit of trouble. As she would say this. Oh, come on. Besides, it was absolutely funny. As she would say this. Oh, yeah. Absolutely funny. But you almost caused a literal robot to basically shoot us. And not only that, it was an Atlas robot. As she would say this. Uh, whatever, she would say. At least I got some new parts. As she would say this. Yeah, new parts. For what? As she would say this. My weapon. Remember? My legs. As she would say this. Yeah, yeah, I know, but still, she would say. As after saying that, you know, Roman is currently just, like, pretty much stressed out. As he would basically say this to himself. Oh, I really want to go to sleep, he would say to himself. As he's basically, like, clenching his, you know, head. As after thinking this, he would get, you know, he would get a call from the scroll. As he would say this. Oh, who is that, he would say. As he would basically open the scroll and would hear the sound of Cinder. As she would say this. Ah, hello there, Mr. Torchwick. As you would say this. Uh, uh, hello, Cinder. Um, uh, reporting for duty. Um, I'm sorry, I've forgotten, you know, you called me. <laughs> he would say. As she would say this. Likewise. Now, I recently heard that there was this man who almost destroyed you. I even saw the power and potential that he had. May I ask who was that? man by any chance as he would say this well um i usually call him greedy over there um apparently his real name is izuku midoriya and apparently neopolitan knows him and even got his you know his contact number and even texted him a lot as after hearing this she would say this oh i see she would say well then it's good that my mistress uh mistress has a good henchman, she would say. Now, may I ask, where is he currently? As he would say this. Well, um, he's currently in Beacon, probably. As after saying that, wait for a second. Sorry about that, anyway, continuing on with the episode. As, you know, 
um, you know, Torchwood would say this. Um, he's still pretty much a beacon, probably. Probably already fallen asleep, as Cinder would say this. I see. Then, I have a mission for you. Or more specifically for Emerald and, you know, Mercury, she would say. As, you know, well, he would say this. Ah, uh, um, should I tell them? As she would say this. No, no, no. Just tell them to basically come here. As after saying that, he would say this. Um, Emerald, um, you know, uh, you know, Mercy, I meant Mercury. As two of them would say this. What is it, old man? They would say, as he would say this. Don't call me old man! And besides, I'm still pretty young. A anyway, um, um, Cinder wants to talk to you. After hearing this, you know, both Cinder and Mercury would basically start going towards his phone as, not really phone, I meant scroll, and they would basically, you know, go up to it as they would say this. Um, can you put up the speaker? As he would say this. Uh, sure, he would say. As after doing so, he would basically put it on speaker. So... If you find this person, she would say, as she would basically set a photo to the scroll, which was Izuku's. As both of them would say this. Specifically, you know, not really both of them, but more specifically, you know, Mercury, she would say, Whoa, who's the cutie over there? She would say, as she would say this. Well, this cutie is what, you know, Mistress wants to find us. I meant, wants to find, she would say. As one of them would say this. Um, why exactly him, said, you know, Emerald. As she would say this, well, have you heard of the, you know, little light show last time? Especially the whole accident during the, you know, harbor, she would say. As one of them would say this. Oh, you meant, uh, you know, Torchwick's worst idea imaginable, she would say. As, you know, Torchwick would hear this, as he would say, hey, he would say, as, you know, you know, after hearing that, you know, Emerald would say this. Oh, come on, it's true, she would say. Wait for a second. As, you know, one of them would say this. Oh yeah, you mean the great disaster that, you know, Torchwick over there basically caused? Said, you know, Mercury, as, you know, well, Torchwick would say this. What? Anyway, um, continue on, um, you know, Cinder, he would say. As Cinder would say this. Thank you. And, anyway, that was actually caused by him. As after hearing this, you know, Emerald would say this. What? Impossible. I I mean, I mean, he's definitely not that strong. I mean, you know, probably she would say. As she would say this. Oh, 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 how wrong you are, she would say. Have you seen the little footage that I found earlier, she would say. As she would basically send a video. Showing off the video of him basically activating his Susano. And, you know, the rest is history. And also sends them a video of him during, you know, the entrance exam or, you know, the initiation. Yeah, in the, you know, sort of like, you know, first half of the, you know, of the series. As you would see the large ass, you know, meteor that he created. And his arm would basically shift and peel, transforming into a mechanical, like, cannon. Which all of them would just be, you know, terrified but also pretty much impressed. You know, after hearing this, you know, currently nearby, you know, Emerald would just say to herself, Huh. Wait, that was him, she would say to herself? And she would basically, you know, text him about it. So, after doing so, you know, we basically go back to them as, you know, Emerald would say this. Uh, uh are you saying that we are to try to maybe kill him? Or assassinate him? Uh, there's no way I'm doing that, she would say. As, you know, you know, Cinder would say this. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to assassinate him, she would say. We're trying to recruit him, she would say. As all of them would just be in shock. Including, you know, Neopolitan, or Neo. As, you know, well, Mr., you know, Tartrick over there would say this. Oh, no, 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 I'm not dealing with this shit. Uh, there's no way that he's ever going to join us. I mean, have you seen what he did to me? And he's definitely probably gonna hate me, he would say. As, you know, well, Cinder would say this. Oh, don't worry. Besides, it's after all Mistress's orders, and Mistress will get whatever she wants. Trust me, Mistress will get him, she would say. And by the way, find a way to basically get him onto our side, she would say. Looking towards, you know, well, to, you know, to both, you know, 
well, to both Emerald and also, you know, well, you know, Mercury, as to a degree, even though they're absolutely terrified seeing his power. But, you know, one of them is still pretty much, you know, interested in the more, you know, lovey-dovey way, as in, you know, well, Mercury over there. Because after seeing that face, well, she would start getting a little bit, you know, well, she's trying to get a little bit of ideas, to say the least. Yeah, oh boy, and let's just say, you know, um, if she were to, you know, do that, well, let's just say everybody's gonna hunt her down. Mostly the girls that are in love with him. Especially Neopolitan, probably. So, yeah, so, after saying that, the call would basically end, as Torchwick would basically, you know, basically pinch the bridge of his nose, as he would say to himself, I'm starting to think this boy is probably gonna make something... Something of a harem, he would say to himself. As after, you know, saying that to himself, we're going to be seeing, you know, everybody just like going back to their normal things. Including Roman, as he would say this. Whoop, I guess I should continue, you know, fixing up some of the things there. As he would start looking towards some of his lackeys, as he would say this. What are you slacking for? As the, you know, White Fang members would start continuing on basically grabbing some, you know, some, you know, some dust crystals, and they would start leaving. As they would say this, God dang, he's strict. As one of them would say this, Well, he is the boss, said one of them. Specifically one with, like, you know, hooved feet. And so, we currently see everybody basically doing their own thing now. So yeah, so, I'm probably gonna be ending this episode right off here. So yeah, so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!